Hey, Matthew Swinnerton here from Event Santa Cruz, and I'm here with... Celine from Anato. Anato, okay. So for our viewers that don't know what Anato is, what is it? Anato is a regenerative body care line for people wanting pure, socially responsible products whilst reducing their plastic footprint. So what kind of, of products? So we have a wide array, array of products, uh, everything from sunscreen to solid shampoo, mm -hmm. Um, to face oils. Okay. So how did you come up with this idea? Like what, what was the, the, like the genesis? What was the idea? It's like, okay, I want to make products like this that are, you know, sustainable, that are, you know, socially responsible. How did this come about? Good question. Well, I'll, I'll enumerate a few of the problems we're facing today. So, um, you know, most of the, in the body care industry currently, most products have lots of chemicals that we're applying to our skin, which is actually our largest organ. Yeah. Um, on top of that, the industry is significantly contributing to plastic pollution and globally we're facing climate change. Yeah. And I have a background in plant science and a nonprofit where we fight plastic pollution. And so this is sort of a combination of my background in sustainable agriculture and, you know, uh, offering people solutions to plastic pollution. So how do you actually come up with the product? Like, you know, are you actually like... You know, making like the ingredients or whatever or, or how does that process work yeah um so i've when i was 10 years old i had an immune deficiency mm -hmm. and my mother's best friend is a herbalist and cured me with plants mm -hmm. that i had to take um i had to take this tincture uh, plant-based medicine three times a day okay. uh, for a whole year and i discovered plants little by little i was amazed by their power mm -hmm. I, I was cured after just a few weeks okay, so and good. so i started playing around with plants um gathering and foraging you know, plants in the mountains, in the Alps, um, with my family and, and this herbalist. And then I made my own little concoctions at home, face masks yeah. and creams and balms. And um, so I've been doing this for a long time. And then, you know, through my education, I sort of uh, learned really what sustainable agriculture is. How can we feed the world sustainably? Um, and then beyond that, you know, uh, how do we sort of get out of this disposable economy that we're trapped in right now? Yes. So if somebody wants to get your products, how do they go about finding them? Well, we are just launching our website now. Okay. Um, so right now, you know, people have been buying things sort of uh, from me directly. Yeah. I had a soft launch at the WeWork um, Creator Awards in San Francisco a few weeks ago. Oh, wow. Um, and then uh, the website will be going live in a matter of a couple of weeks um yeah oh great okay so we'll go we'll put it on uh, um on the the bottom in the in the notes of this great. video um so i find you a very um you know you are very concerned about the environment about what goes into our bodies um you started a non-profit and what does that non-profit do that non actually what and what is the non-profit <laughs> yes so the non-profit's called plastic tides and we combine adventure and science to fight plastic pollution via stand-up paddleboard expeditions. So back when I was, you know, a university student, I sort of got together with two good friends of mine and we thought, how can we combine our love of water sports with environmental action? And um, plastic pollution is a really visible problem with tangible solutions. Um, and so we chose to focus on plastic pollution um, as you know a, our main cause. And then stand-up paddleboarding at the time in 2014, it was the fastest growing water sport out there, you know, um, that both young people and older people could enjoy. So a great platform to educate people about things. And so we actually launched our nonprofit um, by circumnavigating the island of Bermuda on a stand-up paddleboard self-sufficiently um, and filming a, an adventure documentary and showing this juxtaposition of amazing marine life with plastic pollution and it sort of caught on we did a lot of workshops with kids um, and so I've been working on that you know uh, in my spare time ever since and is that documentary out somewhere yeah yeah, yeah. it is uh, it's on the plastic tides website okay um, and we're very active on social media as well um, well, since since I have you, um, so maybe you can answer this to our viewers. If there's like one thing that people can do to avoid plastic consumption, mm -hmm. what would you say? What, what's what's one thing that we can all do now? Re well, trying to avoid easy single-use plastics, uh, such as you know, bottles, 
utensils and bags that's okay. the easiest thing and then beyond that you know it's really changing your routine um, going to the bulk section of the natural health food store and bringing your reusable jar or your little bag to put bread inside um, and then at home a really important thing to do is to compost and it's a little effort um, for some people especially in urban um, you know environments but it makes a huge amount of difference and compost is farmer's gold it, <laughs> it it's amazing it fertilizes plants naturally so it's you know really at this set sort of it taps into you know fighting against plastic pollution but also contributing to sustainable agriculture you know i love and i wish i remembered the name of the company but there's a local company in santa cruz here that um they will actually come with a bike and pick up your compost yeah yeah do you remember who that was i forget the name yeah me too um, they're great they they come by our our neighborhood all the time we have our own compost bin okay. in our yard okay. but yes that's a great solution for yeah. around here okay. I, I will find out who it is and i will put it in the notes in the under this video so if somebody wants to find out more about what you're doing, um, is there an email or any, any way that we can contact you? Yes, absolutely. So uh, on the company side of things, uh, we have a social media, Anato Life. So it's at Anato Life. How do you spell Anato? A-N-A-T-O. Okay. And, um, and then on the nonprofit side of things, we have a website, so plastictides.org okay. and um, social media at Plastic Tides. Great. Thank you so much for um, meeting with us this morning. Yeah, thank you, Matthew. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, and you want to see more, why don't you subscribe to our channel? We would really appreciate it. And also, make sure you turn on your notifications, because then if you do, you'll be the first one to actually see our video. And lastly, again, if you like the video, why don't you like the video? Okay, thank you very much.